and finally what we have to thought we have one more topic interceptors <coughs> okay go to file new web project interceptors you know the interceptors main aim right when interceptors will execute as per architecture interceptors when interceptors will execute when you send input request every input request first it will go to your filter dispatcher first input request it will go to filter dispatcher every input request it will go to your filter dispatcher or starts a prepare and execute filter so first to the starts a prepare and execute filter it will request a action mapper it will request a action mapper for a corresponding action Okay, the same kind of action mapper they designed for spring controller also handler mapping in spring if you see there is one handler mapping here it is action mapper so action mapper will suggest a controller to the starts a prepare and execute filter so it will execute that controller by using a class action proxy using action proxy it will prepare a proxy object <coughs> then this proxy will execute your controller but meanwhile while executing your controller in between it will execute interceptors interceptors we can execute in pre request and post response in pre request and post response you can execute any number of interceptors here group of interceptors if you execute for a controller group of interceptors if you execute then you can call that group as a interceptor stack <coughs> there is one default stack there is one default stack always it will execute there is one default stack always for every controller this default stack it will execute always one default stack will execute for your controller classes in case if you required any stack you can write your user defined stack you can and you can configure but while using user defined stacks default stacks will not executes while using user defined stacks in case if you configure here a user defined stack then default stack is not useful in case of user defined stacks if you require default stack then you should configure this default stacks also in your struts xml file under struts xml file you should configure all these <coughs> interceptors configurations okay to implement interceptors to implement interceptors there is one interface if you want to if you want to implement this interceptor component there is one interface interceptor interface using this interceptor interface you need to implement your interceptor classes so just i'll go through one pre post interceptor class here dynamic web project interceptor already we have yeah add struts to library project facets struts to library next slash star next finish now create a input form here pre request pre logging and post logging just i want to perform here before executing my controller some logging after execution of my controller some logging i want to execute here <coughs> so do simple tag library uri simple hello form just i'll i'll go through hello form prefix with html create a simple hello form with interceptor HTML colon form and form action simple hello. Now create a label here HTML colon text field text field parameter name name and the label name is name. Finally one submit button HTML colon submit submit button value simple hello. Now for this hello, you require to write a controller. Along with controller, just I will go through some interceptors also here. Write a hello controller. <coughs> Extend it from action support. Private string name generate a setter and getter
final override execute method here we need to send simple hello message right so create one message here write one setter and write one getter <coughs> yeah now here coming to message message equal to hello plus message oh, sorry name finally forward success go to configurations here do configurations package package name controller and class name sorry extends starts defaults final action hello class name controller dot hello controller and here results we don't have validations right just result name success for this success create one success dot js page so here you can read result the result is what result is message finally go through intercept as here just before executing my controller after execution execution of my controller i want to execute a interceptor here and just there i want to execute some logging logging i want to execute there so write a interceptor here my logging interceptor my log interceptor implement it from interceptor interface there is one init method and destroy method and there is one intercept method the main required method is intercept method this one is similar like your surlet filter class surlet filter will execute before your surlet after your surlet this interceptor will execute before your controller after your controller here you can write any initializations initialization operations destroy you can use for any destroy operations and coming to this intercept method here write pre logging and post logging log factory dot get log create a log for your hello controller dot class it will return as a log object then using this log write log dot info in time in time of request plus new okay all by default data also it will print right logger okay this one is in time then proceed after getting in proceed into controller invoke it will go to your controller from there it will forward as one string result after that write post log in time and out time and finally return result here okay yeah now it will execute this code will execute before your controller this code will execute after your controller so how to configure this interceptor here first create this interceptor reference in this xml file here we have one interceptor tag in between package there is one interceptor tag in between interceptors and interceptors you need to create your interceptor reference my interceptor name is logger interceptor or my log and the class name is controller dot my log interceptor now this interceptor need to execute for which controller this hello controller it need to execute so go to this hello controller before result configure here interceptor reference name my interceptor reference name is my log so as per as per this configurations if i configure any custom interceptor the default interceptor configurations will loss so that what you should do you need to configure default interceptor also here 
default stack you need to configure your default stack also here what happens if default stack not available struts features will not execute ok we have some default features like validations internationalization we have support side right? that all features you can't able to achieve so to achieve all the features you need to configure here default stack also compulsory now you execute it and you can find your pre log and post log operations deploy application successfully deployed run this yeah submit hello final i'm getting hello navin here and meanwhile internally it will execute what pre log post log from my interceptor class it is executing this pre log and post log operations so that if you have any pre and post operations using this interceptors you can write that pre and post operations okay 